Hi, my name is Mark Smith and I'm with Owens Corning and I would like to share with you some best practices on blowing insulation into our high performance attic uh, system and so we have some guidelines here that we're going to be following today and you can get all the information that we have we're sharing with you today in this. What we're going to do is we're going to determine how fast your machine blows insulation and that will determine how fast we pull the hose out of the cavity so that we get the right amount in. Okay, we're going to start off with our three inch hose and that's what we're going to put into the cavity and we're going to mark this hose every four inches or in this case every nine ribs. We're going to mark the hose every four inches. And then what we will do is then we will color the hose down on the inside of the rib so that it doesn't wear off. All right, so now we're going to be doing the four inch marks, which is about every nine ribs on this hose, for the length of hose that will be inserted into the cavity, usually about 25 feet. The good news is that you only need to do this one time. All right, now we want to insert our steel hose tip into the end of the hose a few inches and tape it on. The reason we put the tip on is because it's made of steel and it gives you weight so it's easy to slide down. Also, the angle makes it easier to get around uh, vent stacks and things like that. For this application, we want this machine set up to run as fast as possible. The first thing you want to do is make sure it's in high gear or fourth gear as in this machine. The second thing is we want to make sure the air bypass is completely closed. Third, we want to make sure the gate is wide open. And last but not least, we want to make sure you never see this. The auger needs to be covered with insulation at all times so we get a consistent blow. This is the bag we're going to use to determine how fast the machine is blowing insulation. It is provided by Owens Corning, and one side of it, which will insert the hose, has Velcro around it so we can put it tight around the hose so it doesn't leak, and even better yet, we can open it up and blow it into the machine. We first need to fill the hose with insulation. So to make it so it's not messy, I'm going to put it into the bag and now blow until the hose is full. Now that the hose is full, we'll take this bag and empty it into the machine. Okay, this bag we're going to blow into, we're going to blow into it for 30 seconds, exactly 30 seconds, and hold this tight. Go. Now we're going to pull the hose out, careful not to lose any. Now we're ready to measure. Alright, so we're now we're ready to weigh the bag. So I've taken my strap and thrown it over a truss looped it through the top handle here, my scale, and I've adjusted that so it's far enough from the floor so I can hang my bag. Let's turn on our scale, the center button, and it should zero. One of the things we want to make sure though is that we have it in pounds and the uh, lower right hand button changes it from pounds to different readings. We want to make sure it is in pounds. So to hang the bag, we're just going to put the hook through the eyelet, make sure it's not on the floor, touching the floor, and get the reading. Our reading is 16.2 pounds for the bag. Now that we have our uh, weight of the bag, we're going to go to page 13 and it's called the metronome setting chart. And on there, there's actually four charts of different R values. And since we're blowing R30, we're gonna to go to this chart here in the middle. We're gonna go along the top where it talks about the weight of the bag. Here is 16, we had 16.2. So that's the one we're going to pick, it's the closest to it. And then we're going to come down this column and the different numbers over here are the widths of the, of the cavity. So we're on 24 inch cap on center uh, trusses, so that means we're going to use 56 in our metronome setting. Here's a metronome that Owens Corning provides, but you can also get an app for your smartphone and do the same thing. So we'll turn this thing on and then there's a select button here that changes it from different tones. Uh, when it's blinking, that means you can adjust things. That's the volume. You can turn the volume up and down. 
and when the number up here is blinking in the top left hand side, that's the one we want to adjust. And so if we wanted it to be at 56, we make sure it's at 56, and then we hit the power button, and now you'll see the green lights, that means it's beeping. Um, to shut it off, we just hold down the uh, power button for a little bit longer, and then of course we can attach the earbuds so we can hear it. All right, we're going to cut a, a slice near the piece so that I can put my holes in. And we'll take our tip, run it down the cavity. All the way to the, all the, way to the soffit. Now that I've got it all the way to the soffit, I've got my metronome on, and I'll put my mask on. And I'll wait until the insulation begins to flow out the end, and then I will begin pulling out the hose one mark per beat.